she's so evil. Nanakua three words caused Megan insane over her diva dream at Jubilee dumped. Host Nanakua laughed as she took a swipe at Meghan Markle when discussing Queen Elizabeth II's platinum jubilee. During Nanakua's show, the host chatted with royal expert Charles Ray about the Queen's appearance this week at the Windsor Horse Show. However, towards the end of the chat, Nana couldn't resist blasting the Duchess of Sussex, as she brought up the royal being snubbed from appearing on the balcony for the Queen's Jubilee. Her remark came after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who are no longer working royals, were barred from joining the Queen on Buckingham Palace's balcony for trooping the colour. The host began by chatting about the Queen's recent public appearance and her health. Now speaking of the fantastic woman, the Queen, well she's been out and about, Nana said. Charles replied, I think after all the months and months of anxieties that we've all had in this country about her health, it was absolutely fantastic to see her at the Windsor Horse Show. The royal expert continued, arriving first of all in the Range Rover, then walking with a stick to her place to watch some of the events and it was good as well, she got a standing ovation, which was fantastic. She had the old headscarf on the back to you know, the glory days. But it was fantastic to see her, absolutely fantastic and I think we can allay the fears. We know the legs aren't working properly, we know she's getting older, but apart from the legs, her health is partly in very good condition. Nana weighed in, I'm so pleased to hear that because there was one person who said that they were so amazed that they got to see the Queen up front. And I mean, it's when people say things, the royal family, what's the point of them and all that? Well, this is the point. Charles replied, and I think she was also showing the country that, I'm still queen, I'm still here, I may be 96 but I'm still going on and I'm still going to carry on. As the segment came to a close, Nana brought up the fact Meghan and Prince Harry would not appear alongside the queen on the Buckingham Palace balcony. People like Meghan, Markle, just couldn't simply hack it at all, the host said. So that's why she's no longer part of the royal family as a working royal and won't be on the balcony, she went on to add before continuing to laugh about it. Sorry, she apologized to Charles before laughing again, I'm so evil. It has also been reported that Prince Andrew, the Queen's son won't be appearing on the balcony for the opening jubilee celebrations. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle told the Queen they didn't want to appear on the Buckingham Palace balcony for her Platinum Jubilee, according to a Sussex insider. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex instead asked to attend the Queen's Thanksgiving service, which is due to take place on Friday June 3rd. It has emerged the couple plans to bring their children Archie, 3, and Lilibet, 11 months when they return to the UK to join in the celebrations of the monarch's landmark 70 years on the throne. The Queen has ruled that Prince Harry, Meghan, and even her own son Prince Andrew won't be able to stand beside her during the historic trooping of the colour parade after only inviting working royals onto the balcony. But a friend of the couple says they were not axed from the regal guest list, but asked for it themselves. Ahmed Scobie, the pair's biographer and Finding Freedom author, said Harry discussed with his grandmother about the possibility of not attending Trooping the Colour long before the controversial announcement last week. He told, I think it's entirely to do with branding because the further away that he, Harry, gets from the royal family, he turns into a guy in blue jeans, with a ginger beard, coming off a plane with a backpack on. Which isn't very marketable in my point of view. Meanwhile, Russell Myers, royal editor of the Mirror added, I think they, the Sussexes, would have wanted to be on the balcony, of course, 